Our seventh presenter is David Manuel, and he is going to be speaking to us about Red Lake Local Food Initiative. Bonjour and away, McGonag. My name is David Manuel. I'm with the Red Lake Local Food Initiative in Red Lake, Minnesota. I titled this Ejiyachigayang. That just means things we do. Um, the Red Lake Local Food Initiative came into existence about two years ago. And its purpose is to address diet-related health disparities in our community um, from a number of different angles. Um, we have a real, what I would call a well-rounded program where we teach people the rich agricultural history of Red Lake and to revitalize that. Some of the pictures that we'll be going through are of our recent food summit that just ended this last Saturday. It uh, began on the 13th um, and went till the 16th here, just uh, this previous week. And we kind of capped the, the last day off with a big indigenous uh, showcase of Indian food, our food. Um, there he's uh, preparing the meat from a, a deer that we, that we harvested earlier. And uh, here in this picture, we're, we're uh, cooking up some hominy corn, bringing back the, the, our own foods and showing our community what they can do with their own backyards, with their own gardens. Um, something we do is assist our tribal membership in, in getting into gardening. We till their little garden patch and we provide seeds and, and starter plants like tomatoes and peppers and different things like that, just, just ordinary vegetables to get them going. Um, we also have healthy cooking classes. Lately, we've been doing that once a week. Um, we are partnering with our SNAP educators. We have two of them. Uh, one is here at the conference, uh, Deborah Hawthorne. Our other is Veronica Kingbird. And we partner with them, and we've been doing healthy cooking classes and using the food that we grow in our garden as much as we can in those classes to say, to tell people, hey, this is kale, and we grew it, and now we're incorporated into a meal. We, we grew through three varieties of kale this year, two varieties of uh, potatoes, about five different varieties of toma uh, tomatoes, and peppers, and so on and so forth. Um, we do everything um, in an, or an organic way. We're, we're not uh, using herbicides or pesticides or fungicides in our garden or farm. And, you know, part of it is, you know, teaching people how to, how to grow, um, to how to take care of that garden, um, what plants work well together, what plants don't. We bring in University of Minnesota Extension educators to share their knowledge around uh, soil conservation and management, um, how to compost, um, just the whole slew of whatever it takes to grow food. We bring them in, we market um, the event, and, and, and just educate our, our tribal membership on where their food comes from. Um, how to prepare it. Uh, one of the things that we really have, we've really been trying to focus on is, is bringing people, you know, giving them the awareness that eating out of the box or eating the, the frozen pizza is, is hurting themselves, it's hurting their family. We have a Facebook page called the Red Lake Local Food Initiative where we're constantly posting recipes and how to grow and um, 
how to weed and how to, you know, just do a little bit of everything on that page. We, we share um, other people's pictures of their successes or perhaps their uh, mistakes. And that's been our biggest way, our, our most productive way of reaching out to our tribal membership. That's one of the thing that, things that I had a hard time with. Um, how do we connect with our tribal members? Uh, you know, we're all living on the same reservation, we see each other, each other every day, but how do we capture their attention? How do we make them think about food, where it comes from? Perhaps they could grow it themselves. It's a challenge. It's, it's uh, something we, we think about every day. How do we reach out to our tribal membership? Here one, uh, uh, Danielle there in the picture is helping Brian Yazzie, one of the sous chefs who came up um, this past weekend and helped out with our food summit. Um, I think in maybe one of the previous pictures they were out foraging. Here uh, is we're dancing wild rice um, that we went and harvested up near Bagley uh, just prior to the event. Um, so we're, we're taking our tribal membership, some who have never riced before, and, and showing them how to get their own food, how to process that rice, to parch it, to, to winnow it, to, to, uh, to respect it. I really believe that when we have our hands in the dirt or we're out foraging or racing or, or tapping maple trees in the springtime, we realize how hard it can be. It takes time and energy to make, to grow food, to harvest, to forage, to hunt. And, uh, I believe that really instills a sense of respect for where that food comes from. Um, just the previous slide here, we, we, I talked about it earlier, um, our project grow where we, where we have that ability to go out and, and till their little garden patch and in the middle of May and, and uh, a week later have some seeds and tomato plants and and all these different things to grow. That's what we do up there, and I want to thank you very much for this.